Her coverage of the so-called Madison race riots. Reports coming in now indicate the violence is neither racially motivated nor restricted to the greater Madison area. What is certain is that this seemingly unexplainable mass hysteria continues to spread throughout the heartland with injuries reported to be in the thousands. We now go live to Catherine Lanfear at St. Augustine Memorial Hospital. Catherine. David, the staff here says they haven't seen anything close to the sheer volume of casualties. Badly injured, very frightened people are pouring in, no exaggeration, by the hundreds. And we're told that most of the injuries are bites, not gunshot or stab wounds, as we were led to believe earlier. Just a few minutes ago, we spoke with one of the doctors that has been on call since this morning when the patients arrived. We have seen cases of complete digit, finger extraction, deep throat laceration, even a large section of flesh torn away as if by a rabbit dog or wild animal. We've been told by nurses there have been complications. Almost all wounds have shown immediate infection. Uh, many have went into toxic shock. Uh, one patient... Have there been fatalities? Uh, uh, excuse me, please. I'm sorry, I have to go. I was coming home from work, and I saw this woman in the road, and she was moaning or something, so I... I went out to go see. I thought she got hit by a car or some, something like that. And I went to go reach out to help her. And she bit me in the arm, scratched up my face, and I just took off. And Doctors are still at a loss as to the reason behind these attacks. And the situation doesn't seem to be improving. In the past few minutes, I've seen four ambulances and several cars pull up with victims seeking emergency care. Whatever's going on, it seems to be far from over. David. Thank you, Catherine. And speculation seems to surround the origin of this phenomenon. And theories include an airborne plague, a toxic chemical spill, bioterrorism, and even a spaceborne virus. And viewers should be advised that there is no official explanation as of yet. Teams from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Center for Disease Control, and Office of Emergency Preparedness have been dispatched to Chicago, Madison, and the Twin Cities. While martial law has not been declared, the governors of all three states are encouraging citizens to remain calm and stay at home for the present. We've had no official response from the White House, but it can be confirmed that the president is considering returning from his fishing trip at Jackson Hole. More on the situation as it develops. Uh, 